kidding around, beaming Kate gets up close with goats at an Abergavenny farm before swapping her casual jacket for a 940 pounds green Sportmax coat to join Prince William at a market on a St. David's Day visit to Wales. A beaming Kate Middleton was in high spirits today as she joined Prince William to celebrate St. David's Day with a visit to Wales. The Duchess of Cambridge, 40, donned an all-green tonal outfit while visiting Abergavenny Market alongside the Duke, 39, where the couple will learn how important local suppliers are to rural communities. The mother of three opted to wear her 940 pounds longline forest green Sportmax coat with a matching polo neck, as well as black skinny jeans, for the occasion. In a touching nod to her decade of duty in the royal family, Kate also finished her outfit with her Aquitalia Rouge boots, which she first wore for her first official engagement in 2011. It was a quick costume change for the royal, who earlier today was in her natural element when getting up close and personal with a group of adorable goats as the couple paid a visit to a Welsh farm. Kate dressed down in a recycled Sealand khaki jacket and a red scarf as she joined the Duke at Pant Farm, a goat farm near Abergavenny, that has been providing milk to a local cheese producer for nearly 20 years. She teamed her garment with a simple pair of black jeans and finished off her look with her 170 pounds boots from celeb loved brand Blundstone. Meanwhile, William donned navy trousers, a green jumper and a matching coat with a light blue shirt for the occasion. The royal couple are visiting Wales to learn about the importance of the agricultural industry to rural populations and how community organisations are providing support to young people while also celebrating the history of the region. Kate and William, both sporting daffodil pins as is tradition on St. David's Day in Wales, toured the grounds with farmers Gary and Jess Yeomans when at Pant Farm. They heard about the challenges and opportunities faced by the sector and how the farm works with local industries and services. Looking typically radiant, Kate donned her 209 pounds green Sealand wax jacket, which appears to have become a favorite with the royal since she also sported the coat during her trip to Denmark, last week. She teamed her casual garment with a high neck jumper and a bright red scarf, while wearing a daffodil pin. The national flower is traditionally worn on St. David's Day, Wales Patron Saints Day. Opting for a smattering of glamorous makeup, the mother of three kept her locks loose and wavy, while wearing a dainty pair of hooped golden earrings, costing £60 from Spells of Love. During their trip, the Duke and Duchess also met with representatives of the wider farming sector, both in Wales and across the UK, as well as those secondarily employed by the industry to gain a better understanding of how the agricultural sector underpins so much of the local economy. Following their time at Pant Farm, the couple visited Abergavenny Market to see firsthand how important local suppliers are to rural communities and to mark St. David's Day. Later today, in Blenavon, the Duke and Duchess visited the Blenavon HWB, a community-focused youth centre that helps to support over 600 local young people. In keeping with many South Wales Valley towns, Blenavon has had to overcome economic hardship in the last 30 years and the HWB is playing its part by ensuring that the next generation are able to reach their potential by providing a space for alternative education and supporting care experienced and vulnerable young people. Kate and William met with some of those who have been supported by the centre to learn about their experiences. They also had the opportunity to take part in some of the activities the centre lays on, which on this St. David's Day includes making Welsh cakes. 
While the decline of the mining industry has led to some of the challenges faced today, Blanavon's history is an important part of its identity, with parts of the town and surrounding area recognized in 2000 as a World Heritage Site, an example of how the 18th-19th century iron and coal industry in Wales drove the Industrial Revolution. The Heritage Site, in partnership with the Blenavon HWB, uses the power of culture to empower young people's voices and helps to promote the area's rich history through the World Heritage Youth Page 2 of 5 Ambassador Program. World Heritage Youth Ambassadors get involved in organizing events, managing workshops and building networks with other World Heritage Sites around the world. Kate and William will meet a number of these young ambassadors, before traveling to the World Heritage Site Visitor Center to learn more about the history of Blenavon and the importance of the ambassador program. The Duke and Duchess took the opportunity to celebrate an important historical moment as they planted a tree for the Jubilee in Blenavon as part of the Queen's Green Canopy, an initiative created to mark Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee. Earlier this morning, the Duke and Duchess wished the people of Wales a happy St. David's Day on Instagram, writing, Did Gwell Dewey Hapus, which is the Welsh translation of the greeting. The post continued, See you soon to learn all about the role of small businesses in local communities, from farm, to market, to table, and how young people's opportunities are being improved by charities and engaging projects across Wales.